Hey y'all, it's me, Kimmy, and I'm back with another video. Um, if the comments say right off, if the quality of this video is a little different than my other cameras have been, it is because I am recording on my old tried and true. I'm recording on my Nikon D5500 with my 35mm lens, which I do actually love the quality of this camera, but I don't really know how to work it anymore because I literally haven't used this camera for over a year, y'all. And the reason I'm using it is because... I'm finally doing it. I am finally reviewing the the Canon G7X Mark II. The, and I'm going to tell y'all the reason why I never reviewed this camera. So, if you go way, way back to the way back. <laughs> over a year ago, I was so excited. I got my Canon. All I've been wanting because, y'all, I wanted to start vlogging. And while I love the quality of this camera, the autofocus is not that great. And you hear it out of focus, and so I have to try to, like, keep it on manual focus. Um, also, let me just say real quick, if my makeup looks horrible, it's because I've literally been out all day wearing it, and then I slept in it. So, yeah, like, I, I ate and got the itis, and I fell asleep, and I slept in it, and I just sprayed some more setting spray and patted it down, like, because I was not going to redo my face for, like, three videos, because I'm going to record three videos, so. Um, but yeah, okay, back to the candy. I got it over a year ago. I was so excited. I was like, I'm going to review it in a couple of weeks for y'all. Never did that. Never did it. Um, there's a reason for that, though. So, I'm going to tell y'all the reason. The reason is because when I ordered the Canon G7 8 Smart II, the camera that I unboxed for y'all is not the camera that I have today. But it is the camera that I have had for the last year. Um, when I... When I unboxed that camera, I was in love. I was aesthetic. I was happy. I recorded two. And I say two loosely, two videos on that camera. Um, If I can remember which ones they were, I will literally, like, pop them, like, put a little clip of the thumbnail or pop them up in the video so, like, y'all can know which ones and y'all can go look at the quality of that video if you want to. You don't have to. Um, or either I might play a clip because the quality on that camera was still good. That's a straw. So we at the food trucks. I'm not gonna show y'all the food trucks. It's a bunch of people around there. We're not gonna do all that. Um, not too much. But I'm gonna go get some tacos from the taco truck. This one for the do so. Okay. I just want to say that. However, after recording a full a full vlog, I believe because I, I was that's why I bought the camera because I wanted to vlog. And I just been making it my content sit down camera uh, as well because it's smaller, it's quicker to set up and all of these things. But I I don't have it today because I'm going to be showing it to you all. I could show it to you all if I was recording with it, duh. Um, but after I recorded my first video, um, I went to turn it on to record the second video. The screen was black. The screen was black. It, it, I couldn't see anything. I was so stressed out because I had literally just bought the camera. I wasn't mad about it. I had insurance. I'm like, okay, well, if we keep doing this, I'm just going to send it back. Get a new one. Um, After, like, you know, 30 minutes or so, I turned the camera on. It was fine. I recorded some footage. I want to say it was my vlog where I was at the food trucks. I I, mean, I know it's that vlog because I remember it, it was a lot going on that I got mad because I had to wait like two hours on some ice cream. Yes, two hours on some ice cream. So, I remember, I know, I know that was the day and I was mad because my camera was acting up and everything. Like, it was, so my camera, what it was doing is it would record some and then the screen would go black and I wouldn't, like, it would still be recording, like, voice, but it wouldn't record, like, vid the visual and um, I couldn't see on the screen like it has this is the camera it has a flip up screen this is the camera it has like a flip up screen so like I couldn't see like it looks black just like how it is right here so that's what the camera was doing so obviously I contact the seller because I'm like no we're not going to be doing this when I want to vlog I want to vlog so I contacted the seller and they were like, okay, it's fine. We'll make it right or whatever. We can send you a new one. You send that one back. I don't have a US, a UPS here. We don't have one. Like, so I had to travel 30 minutes to send this camera back to them. 
So, um, there was that. But it was free to send it back. I didn't have to pay anything to send it back. Um, your girl, um, I'm just gonna admit it now. Like, I don't care. I accidentally kept the battery. Uh, because I thought it was in the camera and it wasn't in the camera. So, I got two batteries now. But, I kind of, in the same place, at the same time, I was like, oh, well, because I had to travel 30 minutes. That's gas money. So, whatever. <laughs> had to buy a box. Like, I had to do a lot to send it back. So, like, thank you for it. I just, I feel like I just got paid for the inconvenience. But, it wasn't intentional. I was never trying to steal from them. And then, I actually did contact them and was like, hey, I forgot to send the battery back with the camera. And, they told me not to worry about it. So, yeah. So, I got a free Canon camera, and it was an actual Canon, I'm not Canon camera, I, I, I got a free Canon battery, and it was an actual Canon battery. Um, okay, now to what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is long-winded. I ordered the camera, and I ordered it because it came with these bomb purple accessories, and if you know me, you know your girl loves purple. I got accessories that were red. They were red, all of them, they were red. And I ordered the camera off of Amazon. I do not blame Amazon by any means. I blame the seller. Um, I did not send it back because the accessories were red. But like that was my that was my initial push to order that set. It came with a tripod and a bunch of like accessories, like lens cleaner type things, and um, a little mic uh, buff, which I still need to buy one like to put over your mic so it doesn't even though I have, I don't use a mic I kind of want to get a mic for the camera so I want the little fuzzy thing because it just be cute um but they have like also I have just like the little sticky things you can stick here and it the windbreaker the wind buffer things so yeah they have like you can just stick them there and they'll shield your thing from the wind um so when you're out you don't get a lot of wind in your audio um They was like, do you want to buy another camera once you get your refund? What are you going to do? And I'm telling them, like, no, I'm just going to order from somewhere else. So I ordered from Best Buy. And I got my baby. I got my Canon G7S Mark II, the camera that I always wanted in life. And that is when I realized the camera that I had was not an actual Canon G7S Mark II. Um, I'm so sorry about, like, my blurring. Let me scoot up so I can put on that. Okay, so... It may, it, it said Canon, it said Canon, it said G, G7S, but, girl, it wasn't, I started noticing things on this camera that was so different, like, the texture of this part was smooth, and this one kind of has, like, a leatherish texture, um, it didn't have, like, this little part here, like, it was, it was things on this camera that was missing on the other one, and I'm not even gonna say it was not a real Canon, I'm going to say I think that maybe it was refurbished and some of the parts weren't canon. Um, so it was like parts that would fit, but they weren't like canon factory parts. And so that is why I never reviewed it because I didn't want to tell y'all like, oh my God, I love this camera so much. And then I think I think I had gave y'all the listing in the video, but I'm not sure. And then y'all go order that camera and then y'all get like a bootleg refurbished camera. But I also wasn't trying to cause no drama because drama is not me. But I just feel like it's been so long we can talk about it now. And I've had a couple of people asking me like about this camera and how I like it and stuff. So like I'm just gonna say I love this camera. This is my baby. Like I haven't even been using my um Nikon to film at all. And like when I finish this video, I'm gonna be right back on this camera. I'm not gonna be back on this Nikon. Um, one, because the autofocus, and like I said, like, I can't turn the autofocus on, I can turn the autofocus on, but if I do, like, when I be moving, y'all gonna hear, <laughs> like, y'all gonna hear it adjusting to, like, autofocus, I don't like that. Um, so that's why I don't have autofocus on. Um, so I love that this one has a smooth out of focus. It don't be making no sounds. You don't be hearing in the video when it be focusing. So I love it. Also, the quality of this video may not be that good because, not because of the camera, I blame me is more of a user area because I, like I said, haven't used this camera in a year. I don't even know how to adjust the zoom right now. That's why y'all so close up with my grill. I'm sorry. Um, but, um, 
they have glitters also well they're not glitters they're like mattes with glitters so i'm going to give that but hey guys uh basically the camera it came just the camera it came with the camera the charger the battery and like a little string that you could like wear it on your wrist with but girl who's gonna put the fact that that camera in a little piece of thin material not i not i I did end up buying this um, little silicone case. So if y'all ever see my camera like in the mirror or something, it's going to look blue because I keep it in this case. It did tear right here. I'm not really depressed about it, but I do want to buy more colors. Um, I just think it's, it's going to, I think everybody's tear right there, honestly, because the it's so thin. Like the piece of silicone right there is just so thin. But, yes, I love the flip-up camera rather than the side camera. Because I know, like, the whole video, like, I'm probably looking here. But at least here, it looks like I'm looking in the general area. Because I be looking at the screen, y'all. All these years, and I still can't get it together. I look in the lens, girl. Look in the lens, girl. It's hard for me. Like, because, not because I don't look at myself, but I just be trying to make sure it's still recording. I be trying to make sure my time ain't running. I be trying to make sure everything be going the way I need it to go. So, yeah, y'all. Um, my rating on this camera is a 9 out of 10. And the reason why I give it a 9 and not a 10 is only, not because of the experience I had with it. Because I know that that wasn't that camera. But only because of personal issues for me, um, it was kind of hard for me to, like, when I want to put it on my dash, f because it flips up. But I love that it flips up because i rather that than the side camera. The side, like, I specifically wanted this because it went up instead of to the side. But the way my dash is made in my car, it makes it hard to be able to put it on a tripod. I had to find one that was just, like, that tall. So, that's the only reason I give it a 9 out of 10. Um... A beautiful camera, amazing quality. It takes great pictures. It takes a great video. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I will put some video footage in. Left the country and risked his life to get away from me. He would rather die than be with me. That's insanity, isn't it? I also want to talk about. I thought I, um my tripod. This is the tripod I use. This is the tripod I use. Um. The reason, the reason I didn't want to vlog with Nikon is because this camera is so much lighter. Like, even with the tripod on there, and this tripod's not heavy, but it does have some weight to it. With the tripod on this camera, it's still lighter than the Nikon by itself. So, because you have to have a lens on a Nikon, that lens is heavy. Um, but it's um, an Olanzi tripod. It is extendable. So, it's, like, good when you sit on tables and stuff. I want to get a bigger version of this tripod, like, this stand-up, at least do, like, four feet so I can do, like, pictures and stuff as well. Because I really love this tripod. It is so good. I love that. I, okay, I hate tripods where I got to twist the tri tripod. And I love that with this one, I can just twist this part. So, when it goes on my camera, I can just do it like that. With it, rather than twisting the tripod around and around. It is also very sturdy. And I love that it has an adjustable neck ball. <laughs> I guess. I love that as well. So, yeah, you guys. Um, definitely, this camera, this tripod combo is a win. And that's really all, you guys. I'm Kimmy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Hit the notification bell. So, I can't be notified when I drop another video. And I'm going to change cameras. And I'm out.